This is my video comparing and contrasting Creek and Cherokee Indian structures with those of Georgians today. I did my project on structures because I really liked how they built their houses. Over the 2,600 years that Creek and Cherokee Indians live in Georgia. They built many different types of homes and used materials that were easy to find wherever they live. Today, Georgians live in many different types of homes as well. We live in homes built of cut wood, similar to Creek and Cherokee Indians, but over time, our materials and building methods have gotten better, so our houses have gotten bigger and last longer. Another way Georgians of today are similar to the Creek and Cherokee Indians is that we build a town hall in the center of town. The Cherokee and Creek tribes of long ago built town halls in the center of their town where elders made important decisions, like our elective officials do in our town hall. As you can see, this is the council house. Um, it is a lot larger, and instead of it's square, it's round. Um, this is where the elders make decisions. I'm inside the council house. Um, inside, they usually um, they usually build a fire and uh, sit around it so they'll stay warm. First, I want to tell you about the homes of the Creek and Cherokee Indians. They were not much alike the houses we live in today, but some stuff was the same. The early Creek Indians sometimes built winter houses and summer houses. But over the 2,600 years they lived in Georgia, they built many different types of homes. The two most common Creek Indian houses were large round grass houses and wattle and daub houses. The grass houses were large round houses made from long poles and shaped a little bit like a teepee but had grass walls and were much bigger. The wattle and daub houses were smaller and instead of teepee shaped had straight walls made of sticks and mud with grass roofs to keep the rain out. The Cherokee Indians originally built summer and winter houses. Their summer homes were sort of like large rectangular pavilions with grass roofs. This kept them dry in the rain and cool on hot days. Their winter homes were small round houses called O.C. They also called these houses sweat houses because they would take their sick there to sweat out the sicknesses. O.C. were small so they could keep the heat in and everyone could stay warm. European settlers arrived. Indians began to copy them by stacking logs and making shingles for their roofs, which looked a lot more like houses today. This is a Cherokee house. Um, the mud, well, this, this house is made you stack logs, well you like, like make the logs this, and then you, they like smack, then they get mud and like rub it all over there through the cracks, which makes it warm, so they can stay warm, so they can stay warm inside.